Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, SJ-30 flies again, the Tennessee Highway Patrol locates a stolen airplane, and NAPI establishes elite balloon instructor program. Happy Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. Cyberjet Aircraft SJ-30i successfully completed its first flight, featuring an all-new cockpit based around the Honeywell Epic 2.0 avionics suite. The flight was conducted out of their Engineering and Product Development Center at the San Antonio International Airport and kicked off an 18-month certification test program, which will accumulate an amended type certificate for the SJ-30, followed by immediate deliveries. The SJ-30i retains all of the same performance characteristics of Cyberjet's current SJ-32 model, but features four 12-inch liquid crystal displays, including the SmartView Synthetic Vision System, iNav Moving Map Display System, Electronics Charts and Maps, TCAS 2, TAS Level A, Synoptic Display, Dual Flight Management Systems, single inertial navigation system, onboard weather radar, and much more. The flight test aircraft will be on display at the NBAA convention next week. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. It's time for today's trip around the patch. The JLC Airshow Management received notice of accreditation from the FAA to organize and host the recently developed Airshow Racing Series. John Cudahy, President and CEO of the International Council of Airshows, said the series is a huge step forward for the airshow business. The series offers a unique approach utilizing two racing lanes, with 10 40-foot inflatable pylons spaced approximately 600 feet apart, to define the three-dimensional track for multiple feats of match racing competition. U.S. Department of Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao announced the FAA has established the Women in Aviation Advisory Board and is accepting nominations for qualified candidates at the Federal Register through October 29th. The objective of the board is to provide independent advice and recommendations to the FAA in supporting women's involvement in the aviation field. The Rolls-Royce RR300 engine has exceeded the 1 million flight hour milestone, providing Robinson R66 helicopter operators nearly a decade of reliable service. The R66 and the RR300 engine were jointly announced in 2007, and the helicopter was certified in service in 2010. Since that time, Robinson's first gas turbine-powered helicopter has proven itself in service around the world, with a growing fleet of nearly 1,000 helicopters delivered. Delta celebrated International Girls in Aviation Day with its fifth annual wing flight. Women inspiring our next generation, carrying 120 girls aged 12 to 18 from Salt Lake City to NASA and Houston in an effort to close the gender gap in aviation. From nose to tail, the flight was planned and orchestrated exclusively by women, including the pilots flighting the plane, ramp agents working on the ground, gate agents boarding the flight, and women in the tower guiding the aircraft on its way out. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. 
The Tennessee Highway Patrol's Criminal Investigation Division began assisting the Jackson County Sheriff's Department in an unusual burglary report from July of 2019. Among the items stolen was an unregistered or unknown registration aircraft, which was last known to be on a custom trailer for transport. The aircraft was an amateur built slash experimental class Kit Fox 2 place tail dragger. The coordination of the investigators resulted in Tennessee Highway Patrol Trooper Jeff Fawn locating and recovering the aircraft in Putnam County. Investigators are continuing to follow up on additional leads based on the origination of the case and other cases connected as a result. The investigation continues. The Balloon Training Academy and the National Association of Flight Instructors have identified a need for recognized balloon lighter-than-air instructors who are active, professional, and have a history of a positive and safe customer experience. The program's mission is to differentiate between a commercial balloon pilot who is analogous to a CFI and one who demonstrates the highest level of instructional activity, educational experience, and professional service while acting as an instructor. In the LTA community, any commercially rated pilot is recognized as having the ability to act as a flight instructor in the category. This bypasses the needs for a certificated flight instructor certification that other aviation categories require. Due to this structure, it can be difficult to measure the skills and competencies to those claiming to perform training operations. To address this problem, the Elite Balloon Instructor designation is a program to be administered by the Balloon Training Academy and supported by NAFI. The EBI is designed to measure the activity, success, reputation, and safety of a balloon instructor through documentation of the individual services provided with a previous 24 calendar month window. Since balloon instruction does not require a CFI, the EBI recognition has a strong emphasis on customer experience and instructor reputation. And that wraps up our show for today. Don't forget to subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. To get aviation and aerospace news any time of the day, head over to aero-news.net. I'll see you tomorrow.